Welcome to the Django series. Today we'll talk about setting file in Django. In the last video, we have created Django project. So when we create a project, that time some files are automatically created. According to the requirement, we need to modify certain files. Today I will focus on setting file. This file contain many things we need to modify during the project execution. So one by one, we'll discuss what sort of settings that we need to modify in the project. The first one is the base TI. It is a variable which contain base directory or we can say a root directory which will point to the project folder. So it will goes to our specific project folder. If my project is under E drive, then it goes to the E drive location that is my root directory. The second setting is a secret key. This key contains some hash value. You can see these are the some unreadable characters are found in the secret key. It should be set to be unique and unpredictable value. When we create the project, this key automatically generate and it's unique for each and every project. You can create another project and check the secret key. It will create another secret key for your another project. The main purpose of secret key is to maintain the user session. Moving ahead for a next setting, debug is equal to true. This is just like a boolean value to be set to this variable debug. The boolean value that turn on and off, that is for the debug mode. By default, you can set to the true. It means we can easily check the error. But never deploy your website into production with debug turn on. When debug is equal to false, you need to set allow setting, else it will generate a bad request. The next is allow host. It is a list of string contain domain name that Django site can serve. It can contain IP address or a host name. If you want to specify any domain name or IP address, we can mention it in the square bracket. The next setting is install app. This is very very important setting for your project. By default some apps are already been added in the install app like Django contrib, admin, auth, content type, session, messages and static files. These are all the inbuilt applications. We can add the custom application after this line. Suppose I have created one of the app that is user. We can add that app here. So whenever we create any custom application, we can inject our app into the project once you add in the setting and make sure that whatever the app you are added in the project that should be unique. Duplication is not allowed for the app. The next setting is middleware. This is important which consists of list of middleware to be used. I will discuss each and every part of the middleware in the further discussion. The next setting under the setting file is root underscore url config it is a string representing python import path to your root url config the next is a template as we know that the mvt architecture that we use in the django so template is used in the application layer so what are the html pages i'll design i'll set the path of our html page under this template in a dis so backend means some template engine to be used in the django app directory is true and these are the options the next setting is WSGA application. As we discussed in the last video, this is a web server gateway interface. It is specifically used when we need to deploy our application on a server. So in this particular setting, it is a Python path of web server gateway interface application that Django built in server. Whenever we create a project, it create WSGA.py file within your main project and it point to the setting to this application so it will set to specific application this is a next one more important setting databases as we know that many project consist of databases that may be oracle sql postgres sql so whenever we create a project it will add some default setting under that databases and sqlite databases by default set for this setting.py file Basically, it is a dictionary containing all setting for the all databases to be used in the Django. If we can add multiple databases or I can say a different DB technologies like SQL Oracle, we can add in the one project. So one project have multiple databases along with multiple technologies are there of the Django project. Moving ahead for the next setting, authentication password validators. It contains list of validator that are used to check the strength of user password. So it just validate the authentication password. Then these are the some 
settings that we are not modified for the each and every project by default that are been sent that is language code time zone us i18 n true we'll discuss these settings when we actually execute the project and what is the impact of this setting in the project in ahead the next setting is static url so static url is a variable when referring to the static file loaded in the static root so after the static file has been set the path is set under the static url the next and last one is default auto field so default auto field is set as a big auto field for the django model so these all are the important setting under the setting.py file some setting files are mandatory for each and every project some are the optionals and some settings are not to be modified at all so depending on the project requirement we are going to modify setting.py file so in the next video we'll discuss again another file under the project thanks for watching this video